Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on area of composite plane shapes. This is part 4 of this video. So we start with the problem. Calculate the area of the shaded part in the diagrams below. We have the diagrams numbered 1 to 4. So we start with number 1. For number 1, calculate the area of the shaded part in the diagram below. So we have the diagram here. To calculate the area of the shaded part, we are going to divide the shape into different rectangles since this is not a regular shape. So we pick the first rectangle and we know the area of a rectangle is length times breadth. So the length here is 12 and the breadth is 3. So we have the area as 12 times 3 representing the area of this rectangle. Then we are going to add the area of the second rectangle to the area of the first rectangle. Now the area of this rectangle is length times breadth. So to get the length of this rectangle, remember this is 3 centimeters and the total length here is 10 centimeters. So to get this length of this rectangle is going to be 10 minus 3 which gives 7 and for the breadth this side which is the breadth of the first rectangle is the same as the breadth of the second rectangle because of this slash on the breadth so that the area of this rectangle will be 7 times 3 we multiply out and add the product so that we now have 36 plus 21 giving us 57 square centimeters representing the area of the shaded part in the diagram we then go to problem 2 for problem 2 calculate the area of the shaded part in the diagram below now to calculate the area of the shaded part we are going to divide the shape into three rectangles so we have the first rectangle here and the length is 13 centimeters and the breadth will be 3 centimeters since from here to this place is 1 centimeter and from here to this place is 1 but the total length here is 5 so 5 minus 1 minus 1 gives 3 centimeters so that the area of this rectangle is going to be 13 times 3 that's for the area of the rectangle we are then going to add the area of the remaining two similar rectangles. This is 5 and this is 2. This is 5, this is 2. So they are similar rectangles. What we'll do is to find the area of one of them and multiply by 2. So we are going to have the area of this rectangle to be 5 times 2, then times 2 to get the area of these two rectangles. So that is for that. We then multiply out and sum up the products. 13 times 3 gives 39. 5 times 2 gives 10. 10 times 2 gives 20. So we have it at plus 20. 39 plus 20 gives 59 square centimeters, representing the area of the shape here. Then we go to C. We still find the area of this shaded part. So again, we are going to split into rectangle, rectangle, rectangle so that the area now will be the area of this rectangle which is going to give us um, 14 times the breadth. To get the breadth, remember this breadth is the same size with this, this and this. Since from here to the top is 14 centimeters and we know from here to this place to be 8 the remaining part will be 6 and this, this, this are all equals. We then divide the remaining 6 by 3 to give this to be 2. This is 2 and this is 2 centimeters. Remember this is also going to be 2 centimeters giving us the breadth of the first rectangle so that the area of the rectangle will be 14 times 2. This is the 14, the length times the breadth. So taking care of this rectangle, 
we then go to the remaining two similar rectangles here. So we have this and this. So the distance from here to this place needs to be calculated. Remember, this is two centimeters, two, and the whole length here is five. So five minus two will give us a uh, three centimeters. From here to this place is three, and from here to this place is three. And since we have two similar rectangles, we're going to calculate one of them and multiply the area by two so that we have three times two multiplied by two. So that is the area of these two similar rectangles. So we then multiply out and sum up. This is 28 plus 12. 3 times 2 gives 6. 6 times 2 gives 12. And the 28 plus 12 gives 40 square centimeters, representing the area of this shape. We then go to problem 4. For problem 4, we see calculate the area of this uh, shaded part. Now to calculate the area of this shape, we're going to split into this rectangle, 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 find their areas and sum them up. From here to this place is 6 and from here to this place is 4. Therefore, the breadth of this rectangle is going to be 6 minus 4, giving us 2. So to find the area of this rectangle, it is length times breadth, which gives 10 times 20. Then the remaining three rectangles are similar. We just find the area of one of them and multiply by 3. So before we go, this is 4 centimeters. This is unknown. And since the whole of this distance is 10 centimeters, and we are going to divide it by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 divided by 5 gives 2, so this is 2. We then find the area and multiply by 3. That's going to give us 4 times 2, multiply by 1, 2, 3, multiply by 3, which gives the area of these three similar rectangles. So we find their product and sum up. 10 times 2 gives 20, and 4 times 2 gives 8 times 3 gives 24, so we have it as plus 24. Summing up 20 and 24 gives 44 square centimeters, which represents the area of the shaded part in the fourth shape. And this is the highest we can go in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again in our next video. Goodbye.